I don't even know what to say. Jake, here we go. You have it a look. goes round here as well. Yeah, round there, okay, Jake. What you're about to see is the most insane vinyl record collection I have ever seen. Welcome back guys to another video. Recently I met up with one of the most dedicated and long-term vinyl collectors I know. Just to catch a glimpse into his daily life, what he does on a daily basis, how he became who he became, and to catch a glimpse of his 30,000 albums. If you do enjoy this video, please leave a like. I'm gonna get straight into it because I know you guys are gonna absolutely love this one. It first started off meeting him at Archway Station in North London. Hello, you all right? Hello. Good to see you. Half an hour. Do you oh want yeah. Let me take you for coffee. Okay, let's go. Listen, uh, I'll take you for lunch afterwards as well. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just let's go. How are you? Not bad. Yeah. I've been looking forward to this. So am I. You might be thinking, he seems like an interesting character, and he is. Good to are see we going to get the bus then? Yeah. Yes, we're going. Let's do it. He then wanted to take me around some of his local haunts just to show me how he buys vinyl, where he buys vinyl, and introduce me to some really interesting characters along the way. First up was Rise Above Records in Highgate, where we have been recently with Dave. Here we go. Hello, it's the lovely Helen. Hi, I'm my darling. Hello again, Hi. how are you? How right. are you doing? Right, here we are. We're in uh, what I think is probably the best uh, collector's shop in the whole of London. This is Rise Above Records, Archway Road. If I win the lottery, Helen, I'm going to come in and kind of like buy everything here, okay? Sounds good. <laughs> I love this shop. I mean, it's just great to kind of like see so many good records in one shop. When we oh. came here the other day, I noticed this poster over here. Oh, right. I could have had that, actually. One of uh, John... John Ducan. Yes, uh, ones, the thing it? about, sorry, about John Ducan for your Atomic Rooster, John and I were very good friends. I used to see him, he lived in Norwich. Um, oh, don't worry, Bazo, I leave everything, you know, uh, you wanted that BB King live at the Regal? Yes, I do, John. And Pink Floyd and the pretty things, that's our sorrow. And for, well, I used to talk to John at least once or twice a week on the phone, and he passed away very unexpectedly. I mean, he was always in good health. He was always kind of like moaning about having not very much money and having to become like a bit of a record dealer. Lovely, lovely, lovely guy though, John Ducan. Lovely guy. But all this kind of stuff here, Atomic Rooster, I earmarked. And also there, look over here. We've also got this here. This is a band that John had after he left Atomic Rooster. Uh, that's hard stuff. That's uh, my old mate, Paul Hammond. He was the drummer with Atomic Rooster. And that's John Gustafsson, who was in Quatermass. Very good band. I did actually see them as well, supporting Deep Purple at the Royal Albert Hall. Oh, wow. Hall. Yeah. Right, let's have a look through the Vertigo section here. All right, what have you got here? Well, Helen, you've got some winners here, haven't you? My goodness me. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness me. I've got all these anyway. How many of these do you not have is the question. Uh, I would say with the Vertigo collection now, um, I've got probably around about 80% of them. 80%? Yeah, unfortunately I went through a couple of difficult years. Very sadly, some of my best albums had to be sold off. Gosh, Mae May Blitz, Blitz there. yeah, good band, yeah, Nirvana. Yeah, I know him very well, um, Patrick campbell Lyons, Nirvana, Great Sleeve. She was on the cover of Affinity, uh, the Vertigo Annual, uh, Coliseum Valentine Suite, and this one. Oh wow. Well you've got some good stuff here Helen for sure. That's particularly one of my favourite Vertigo albums. That's uh, Pato Hold Your Fire. Great album. That's uh, New Zealand pressing. When we came recently there was an original one up here, UK press, but yeah. that, is that sold? Uh, it looks like it, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You see this one here, Ramesses. That's a tremendous album cover. Is it? What, yes. what music is it? Is it prog? Uh, funnily enough that's 10cc. Uh, Ramesses, who was a central heating salesman. <laughs> and when he uh, done this album, uh, 10CC, who are hot legs, had just recruited um, Graham Gorman and uh, they were kind of like just testing out new equipment and yeah. Ramesses was doing this album at Strawberry Studios and uh, they said, well, you know, we'll help you out, we'll play it back up to you and uh, really that's the first 10CC album. Although you would never kind of like know it because no, it's exactly. nothing like 10CC. But it is, yeah, it's got a great sleeve that as well. I bought this when it came out. Did you? Wow. Yeah, I kind of like saw it at a record shop and I think it was Gold is Green uh, Harlequin Records. Is that one you still have now or not? Uh, probably have about seven or eight copies since, I think. <laughs> I think the thing about this album, I had it on my bedroom wall for years because it's such a great kind of like fold out cover. Yeah. Uh, that I had to keep replacing it, but it's a good record. You know, yeah. 
Amazing. Right. Yeah, some great things, Tonton Makuti. Helen, I've kind of like had a lot of these albums. I've still got a lot of them. Uh, but, you know, it's just wonderful to come somewhere and to kind of like see so many good records, OK? OK, Helen, thank right, you so much. You guys, yeah. Lovely to see you thank too. You. See you Bye. Later on. Okay. Bye. Helen, take care, yeah? Thank you, my love. You great wall display, OK? Sell me everything. I will do. My God. Got some wonderful, wonderful records here for sure. Okay, here we go. Next up, one of his favourite charity shops. Right, here we go. Hello, how are you? Ah, oh, Helen, how are we doing? How are you? You okay? Uh, any new ones coming, my lovely? No. No, okay. We'll, we'll go in a second. No. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Thank you, Audrey. Take care. Do you find charity shops quite hit and miss when it comes to finding good music? Oh, we'll talk about that in a second, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the charity shops, probably because I do a lot of them now, um, yeah. especially collecting CDs. When you go in there, when you look through the general stock, you're never going to find anything good. It's always the same, you know, Dido, Duffy, Simply Red, Kaiser and Chief, all the kind of stuff yeah. that you see everywhere. But the secret is, is to try and get in around the back. I see if you it. get in around the back, then you stand half a chance. But generally, um, having said that though, Jake, with vinyls, very, very few and far between. Yeah. And actually, with that, uh, with vinyls now in charity shops, what I uh, tend to find is that everyone well, knows that vinyl has become practical. What's happening? They're all told, right, the expert's coming in or the man's coming in. Somebody goes in and I do believe they're just like trimming off all the good stuff. And when you browse through the racks, I mean, they are generally charity shop records. If I had them, I mean, I'd put them out for a bit. I wouldn't even put them out in the racks. I would just want to, like, throw them away, put them in a bonfire. Yeah. You know, many times, now nah, we've got the man coming in, we've got to look these up. And, I mean, who stands a chance anymore? I think, you know, Joe, the only way that you're going to be getting, um, you know, good records is to uh, try and buy privately. With me, I've always been a collector for the real genuine reason that I do love music. We then went to Flashback Records in Crouch End. Me and Dave have explored the one in Bethnal Green. If you've not seen that video, I'm sure you'd love it. Right, we're going to go to uh, back to Warwick Way. You've got your bus pass? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Great. Then we're going to go to uh, Flashback, okay? Flashback, great. Yes, great. Okay. Fantastic. And then we'll uh, slowly make our way back to West London, come back to my abode, and you can see my collection. Really? Yes, of course. Oh my goodness. Right, here we go. Crouch End already? No, we'll just get the number 41 bus to set Crouch End. Okay, right. This, sorry, darling. Right, Jake, this is uh, Flash. Here we are. Uh, oh, that's very expensive, actually. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I mean. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to have a whiz through, see if they've got any uh, good records worth buying, okay? What do you think of later Jethro Tull stuff? Uh, a lot of people, they kind of shy away if it's not early 70s or late 60s. Yeah, probably. Well, I think, you know, for any band who've made a lot of albums, I think they've been consistently good Jethro Tull, but I think they have to, you've got to kind of like draw a line, really. Uh, I think they're pretty good. It's amazing. This is mostly... Um, one of my favourite albums, album, that yeah, Bandcraft Generator, yeah, great. Gosh, remember this one, Deviants, Pink Pharaohs, Never Neverland, good album. I think we'll be uh, just here for another couple of minutes and we'll go, yeah. No, I think we're okay. Nothing here today for you? Um. No, I mean it's... No, I think it's all pretty much stuff I've seen loads so many times over. Okay, Jake, let's uh, grab a coffee, yeah? Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, my friend. Oh. That was lucky. Okay, thanks. Just thank go you. The, uh... Now this next shop, I was very surprised to see some really cool stuff. I've never been there before. It was the little record shop in Hornsey. Right, here we go. 
This is going to be definitely the last shot, though, okay? Perfect. And then we'll head back to, we'll get a coffee in uh, Tough Milk, um, we'll go back to Tough Milk Park, then we'll go back to mine, okay? Great. Hello mate, how are we doing? This is Dave, we're in the little record shop in Hornsey. Now this is what I personally think is the very best shop in London, okay? He's a lovely guy, um, he so looks you after know. you when you come in, and he's always got great records. And what I love about Dave more than anything, that he always makes a great effort here to change his stock over, okay? Wow, Good luck through. Lovely words, thank you. I've and never been always... here, but I've already see, I already see a couple of bits. I might have to have a look while we're here. Please, even, please though, do. You're welcome to look at even though this is not... Are these, these are your, uh, your chi these are your cheapers? They're not, ac these are, but, but <laughs> these are, um, those are unpriced and they're from a hip hop collection which I haven't got into yet, so they're all hip hop. Right, okay. But all the rest down here should be hip, that's not priced either, but all the rest down there are, are priced. Right, okay. But those are all fives, those are all twos. Oh, okay. Um, and those are all tens in there. Um, okay, what we've got here? In there. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. And then there's a lot of fresh stock put out. I'm going to go and put my tea and sauce away. Oh my god. Okay, well, I've got to say this is an amazing shop, okay? Dave, I haven't really got anything. Just a little Don't worry. You've got a couple of ACDC albums and swaps, do you? They always sell. They're cheap. Well, yeah, well I'll, I'll see what we've got in, okay? Yeah. I see. The five pound ones and the ten pound ones. Five pounds where um, young, um, young Dom is. My name's right, where's there. Young Don? Okay. And below Young Don's five pound section, there's a two pound section just down there. Okay. Uh, Do you know this band, uh, Jake? Uh, uh, do you know Jody Grind? Do you know this album? I've heard of that. that yeah, band, it's great. Yeah. Really good album. I've just found something here for myself. I don't know. Which one? I wonder whether that's an original copy. Oh, well, there's no machine price, head. No prices on anything. Okay. Well, I have to say, Dave always has a very, um, very good stock. Yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing certainly, that here. Certainly worth, always, always worth looking through. Where are the prices on these ones in here? Oh gosh, yes. Are they, are they, are they inside or? Uh, yeah, how do you know how much these are, Dave? Oh, I see, they're just written in there, yes. perfect. Are these all 10 pounds down here, Dave? I knew that they wouldn't be cheap. One of how them much? was 90 and one was 70. Jesus, you're joking, really? That's are these ones these. the 10 pound albums, these ones here? Yeah, um, let's have a look through. What a great album that is. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? What's your favourite Jethro Tull album? This one. See, my favourite is Songs from the Wood. <clears throat> really? Song, yes. Oh, gosh. Something very charming about that one. It's all right. Not the best one. Dave, I've got a few things, just some ace, a couple of ACDC albums. I might do a few sorts of them. Um, oh, Dave. Dave, tell what I've got for you. I've got four albums, okay? Oh, Pink Floyd, ACDC, Martin Carthy one, okay? I'm sure they're all good for you. I found a few ones down here, okay? They're all in good nick, honestly, Dave, okay? I passed on that one, but I'm sure it's very nice. What do you work for me? Oh, I don't know. I pulled out three, Dave. Those three? Yeah. Did, yeah, that's you right. found me again. Yeah, well, Dave, I love you tonight. This is a wonderful, wonderful man here, I can tell you. Dave is a good geezer, okay? You deal with Dave, he looks after you, okay? I'll definitely be back. It's the first time I've been here. I like it, so. This nice is, to meet you. Uh, I hope to see you soon. Yeah, see you soon, Jake. Lovely to meet you. Nice okay, to meet you. okay. All right, Dave. Jake, let's make a move. Right, here we go. Okay. Leave a comment down below if you want to see me take Dave there and make a great thingy video. I'm sure it'll be a really good one. Where to now, Barry? We're going to get uh, we're going to get the bus back to Tuffmill Park, okay? And then oh. Empire Lane, sorry. Then back to mine. Let's go. I'm excited. Okay, let's rock and roll. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. We then went back to his house, and I cannot explain how unprepared I was to walk into this room. Brace yourselves, because I thought I was prepared. But nothing prepares you to see something like this in person. I hope the camera does it justice. <clears throat> Hi, yeah, Barry. Well, we've been around uh, North London today. We're finally back at my humble abode in West London. Okay, I and am uh, Jake is just annoyed. coming in to view my record collection that he's heard so much about, but he's never seen up until now. I don't even know what to say. Jake, here we go. You have it a look. It goes round here as well. Yeah, round there. Okay, Jake. How many albums is this? Uh, and Jake behind the TV. There's oh. about fifteen thousand. If we go through the CDs, there's around about 30,000 altogether. 
I mean, you know, individual music. I can see that there's there's almost some, well, it's not color coordinated, but I can imagine they're all, all those copies of are like the same thing there. Uh, like the yeah, there are, yes, there are duplicates, yeah. And I think probably the reason why I've done that, Jake, is because if I decide or want certain items and I've got, you know, spare copies that I can swap things you know, to yeah. trade over with, yeah. You say you had also 15,000 CDs. Yes. I don't see any CDs. Oh, well, come and have a look through. Don't be shy. Come this way. Um, okay, Jake, I well, there's... Uh, I don't even know what to say. Right, we're going to start here, okay? Oh, CDs over here. Oh, there's some CDs. Right, Jake, this... Surely that's not all of your No, collection. that's my little jazz stuff in there, okay? Herbie Hancock, Mars Davis. Um, come through. There's a few more here. Oh, we're in the oh, kitchen now, by the way. There's a few more here, okay? Just a few. Just a few. Oh, my goodness. Right. There's like two layers of it there. Okay, come through. Um, come through. Oh. There's a few more. Okay. Oh, and... Uh, Jake, please turn around and have a look. Oh, now that's that's a lot of sea. Are you not afraid that these will all fall? Uh, oh. Well, I'll be very careful. I I'm hoping you. they won't, Jake. <laughs> that because that's I didn't know you could stack CDs that high. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, the best thing is just shut the windows, okay, and hope for the best. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 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 How long have you been collecting to amass it up to this? Me. Event? Yes. Uh, we'll sit down. We can talk. Yeah. Jake, I mean, pretty much it's been a lifetime's work. Would you describe it as work? More of a labour of love. Because I do a lot of writing as well, I've always wanted to surround myself by music, and I think I've done that pretty much well now. Yeah, this is, this is insane. When you see people accumulating, I mean, sometimes you could look at a collection like this, and, you know, and amongst them I've got a huge amount of the Greasy Truckers party album, which was nearly collectible. I mean, that was one of the first albums which I remember, you know, being in demand. And I, when I've seen them around, I've always, like, picked up copies. And I think, looking back on my life, and I think what we've spoken about before, Jake, to be really honest about things, I've never really found love in my life. I haven't got children, I haven't been married, and uh, it's something which has given me, you know, a real niche, and I love writing. I just finished off doing a book on um, Liberty United Artists, okay? And I'm now halfway through doing a book on the Charisma record label. The UA book was a little bit difficult to do. In fact, when I first started it, I thought it would be easier, but I went through and I thought, well, there's not kind of like... But in the end... I had to work in it, but we got there in the end. But I've done all these books, okay? I'm known in the industry as Mr. Vertigo or Ten Thou Bow, what other people have called me. That's my book here about the Vertigo record label, okay? Very collectible label now. Um, this was another uh, one which I enjoy doing very much. That's Island Records, okay? It's over 200 pages. I mean, this was a, took me a long time to do this and a lot of listening, but I think in the end it came out rather well, okay? And what is in these books? Is it, do you, are you just cataloguing all the albums that were on these labels? Or yeah. Are you giving um, your own opinions on them? Yes, it is. Yeah. I'm going to give you a copy of the bronze book, OK? Oh, great. Then you can look through. That's more of a story. OK. And then I've, it's a shorter discography. But, I mean, doing a label like Harland, I mean, there were so many releases and there had to be a beginning and a cut-off point. So I yes. started it from John Martin, his first album called The Tumblr, which came out in 1967. Then I've worked through, so you've got things, Nirvana, Traffic art, thing I've done here about Guy Stevens, Spencer Davis Group, Jethro Tull, and it just goes on and on, okay? Another one done here. Oh, uh, John Peel's Dandelion Records, okay? This is it. It's not particularly a big book, but it was a good, you know, good fun one to do. Bronze Records, of course. This has got, uh, you know, bands like Uriah Heap, Man for, Ma yeah. uh, Man for Man's Man's Earth Band, of course, uh, Motorhead. Motorhead. yeah. Yeah, I could tell you lots about Motorhead in here with some great stories. And of course, my beloved girls' school. Great, this is a good little book, this one. Jake, there's a copy there Thank for you. Thank you so much. I'm going to okay, have a my friend, read pleasure. This. And uh, that's the last one I've got at the moment, but there are two more coming, which I'll show to you when they're available. Uh, this is a thing here about the Harvest record label. Edgar Broughton Band, Pink Floyd, Deep Purple, Roy Harper, of course, Kevin Ayers. Again, you know, Electrolyte Orchestra, lots of Grease Band, lots of very interesting uh, albums. And certainly this was one which I think was a great label at the time as well. So, well certainly one of my favourite labels. Great covers, very good hypnotic sleeves and things. Hypnosis sleeves. Yeah. And uh, brilliant. So as long as there's an interest in... Uh, my work I'll just continue doing it for as long as I can Jake that's great and if, I loved it if someone wants to get themselves a copy of one of these where can they find uh, it they can uh, google me okay Barry Winton these are done as a labour of love okay yes I don't make any money out of them if I can just all I do is just recoup my costs because I've done it primarily to put the love of the music across okay well 
would you be honoured to sign of my course. copy? Of, of course, your Jake. Book, yeah, please, sure, mate. Me. Sure, of course I'll do that. Yeah, just give a silver pen. Thank, Thank you yeah. so much for having me. It's been no, a pleasure to Jake, spend the day with you. No, Jake, it's an absolute pleasure. I mean, I've enjoyed it tremendously, OK? It's been really interesting to see an insight into your daily life uh, and what makes a... Oh, we've been done We've done some charity we've shops done, as well. We've done a lot ah, of things. Yeah, we've been, to, uh, we've been to three today, OK? We've been to um, Rise Above. Uh, so we've been to um, Dave's. It's been very good, the little record shop. And Flashback, three very interesting shops and I think for me I would just kind of like like to have the memories and I have got the memories and I think you know that is just a great thing uh, that I've always had and I think for me the reason why I became a record collector why the reason why I still do it is because that I have got a massive 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 love for music and it's never to me been about money it's always been about the enjoyment that music's given me and the love of, you know, the reason, you know, the reason why I still do it and all the great memories of going to all these places. How about Silas, Jake? Yeah, thank you. Okay, any more questions? That, I think that'll be it. I just really enjoyed the day and it's, it's been really cool to see how you do things and how you've amassed such an impressive collection. Uh, well, Jake, well, how much, what about I could do with it in the end? If anything happened to me, I would like to see them all to go to a proper university, the people, you know, of the future that like this, you know, blues and progressive rock music. It would just be great to them, you know, to, to be there, that they can see the covers and enjoy it for what it was. The last thing that I really would love to see, if, yeah. you are, if you're willing and open to share, yeah. is some of your rarest stuff. Oh, Jake, there's, they're all piled up in there, okay? Is there any that are accessible? Uh, probably not, Jake, but no. I've got things like, uh, I've got uh, Fuzzy Dark, Earth and Fire, uh, the Dr. Z album and Vertigo, yes, Blossom Toes originals. Yes, I have got some good ones, but you know, it's unfortunately, um, that means to kind of like get to them. I've got to get all these ones here That's out though, okay. Jake. You know what I mean? But well, I think well, but I think you've actually seen a lot in Rise Above earlier on, did, okay? Yeah. So things, you know, that you've seen there. I mean, I'll have them here, but you know, kind of like having to get over a sea of records to get to them, okay? Thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure, and I've really, it's been a pleasure, pleasure to, it's been such a pleasure for you to come around, and I've- I'll do it again soon, A absolutely. great thrill for me to, well, we're good at the books, and when I get the two new ones out, we'll do this again for sure, okay? okay? great. So that's how I ended up in a room with the biggest vinyl collection I've ever seen. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this awesome video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.